Guys, I'm waiting on a big package, big package. Uh-oh, it's here. Oh man, it's here, y'all. It's here, guys, it's a surprise I've been waiting for. What's going on, Doc? I don't know, but how, many, how much does this thing weigh? 175, but man, it's pretty solid. Woo! So what, 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 how, you, how we getting it out for now? Mm. Do I get the back end or something? Yeah. Oh, God! Heavy, huh? Jesus! I didn't realize how big this thing was. <laughs> We're gonna put it up in the driveway. Okay. You can just run it a straight long like the driveway right there. That will work. Right there? That'll work. All right, buddy. Oh my God. There you are. Thank you, my man. Yep, you have a good one. You too, man. Be careful. Appreciate it. Guys, I've been waiting for this for a while. I have a new big fishing toy. Whew. Man, I thought I was going to be able to put this bad boy on that tailgate. That's, that's, I made up a whole lot right there. Let me get myself together and we're going to take this thing apart. Hold on. All right, guys, I got it unwrapped, unboxed, all laid out pretty for you. And I want to introduce to y'all the Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120. This thing is beautiful. It's, it's eye candy, kayak eye candy. The way Old Town has designed this kayak color scheme is just breathtaking. I mean, it's beautiful for me. I chose the folded camo color scheme and it is, I mean, it is gorgeous. The orange accents really make this kayak pop. And last night, I did 6,000 push-ups to make sure I had the strength. Because this kayak is heavy, it's heavy. And I had to ah, hulk up on that thing, y'all. But besides that, me being foolish, let me go ahead and get in this and break this thing down for you and show you how it's laid out. All right, let's go ahead and break this thing down, guys. They got a sturdy little handle right here at the front for you to carry it with. Uh, storage right there. I've seen people put their um, electronic batteries off in there. It's a nice amount of space. And the meat and potatoes is right there. But we're gonna, we're gonna show you the little covering they have for the area that the uh, power drive goes into. And they actually have a nice, neat spot back here at the back to where you can actually store your cover nice and neat and keep it all clean and pretty. And so, all right, we're gonna go ahead and put the meat and potatoes on here. This power drive is uh, about 25 pounds in weight, and it is a 45 pound thrust motor. And right here, Old Town has a bracket that this, this uh, trolling motor fits right into. You slide it at the bottom foot, and then click it forward right there. Simple and easy. Then you also have this little key right here that controls the up and down, the store and deploy function of the motor. You just slide it on and pull it down. Okay, this cable right here is the cable that you store and deploy this with. I'm not gonna engage it all the way and set it down because I got this uh, kayak sitting up on coolers and I don't wanna mess up my power drive. So the function is very easy. You pull it and pull it a little bit further and it'll, it'll lock down and set on off in there for you but the the magic part of this this setup right here and people have been able to put kayaks i mean uh put trolling motors on kayaks but you have to have a super size jumbo kayak a lot of them been customized and everything to fit that old town made it to where they integrated it into the kayak in the future guys there's there's a lot of kayak companies going to follow this this uh program right here that old town has established uh we got your um gear tracks right here storage on the side there's storage down off in here all these compartments right there and then they also i saw videos where they have a, uh, a tray over here for your measuring tray for you know you catch a fish you can measure them you have the paddles right here foot paddles to uh control your rudder at the back here nice big xl rudder for good control and you also have a, a switch on this side for that rudder let me pull that out there. That's how you, you pull this lever up and it deploys that rudder right there for you. Put it off in the water nice and safe. We'll go ahead and put that rudder back. And it's got rod holders right here. It has a, a, a total of four rod holders, one on each side, one back here and one 
back on this side as well. Then it has cup ha uh, cup holders right here, right by your handles. And there's a couple, oh, look at that. My wife then came out and used her cup, that crappie head leather wrap tumbler. You can get that at crappiehead.com. The website is open. Yeah, let's get back, let's get back to that. Hold on, let me get, it's hot out here. Let me, give me a little sip. Okay. Nice cushion floor right there, guys. To rest your feet. The seat is adjustable. They have two positions you can put this seat. Right now, it's on the bottom level. You can take it, snap it out of there, and put it on the top level. Pop that thing back in. Then you have a little cord right here to click it in to, kiss, to secure your seat. Snap that in. Your seat's solid. You adjust. The seat position, the back position right here with these two cords on the side. And the seat is quite comfortable. I've, I've said in it already and the seat is quite comfortable, quite comfortable. But these foot pedals are adjustable, very easy. You just pull on that latch right there and then if you want to take it all the way back to the front, you pull forward as well. You can pull it just, to, just this way to set it and it'll lock in. But if you need to adjust it, you pull the latch up. Either way, slide down that track, lock in where you need it to. So I'm gonna have to give me a nice graph to wire up on this thing. The power cord is right here. The connector, right to the side, very convenient. Nice placement. They designed it like that to be convenient, for sure. Got a little tackle storage right here, dry tackle storage. Boom, cell phone. Um, any other things you wanna protect right there, you can drop them off in there. Keep that nice and cozy and comfy. And let's get on back up under here. That power drive comes with a remote as well. And I've already been up in here and been through this. Battery compartment right here. Here's your, your prop for your power drive right there. Hold on one second. Came with this little tackle box off in there where your remote was uh, stored at in, there, in the battery compartment, battery box. And so here's your uh, power drive remote. This is your spot lock feature right here. You push that anchor button, you stop and you're stuck where you want to be. If you see those fish sitting out there, peeping around, oh, I hope Dick Crumb's not over here. Too bad, I'm here now, baby, and I got the kayak to do it with. So we're gonna spot lock that in. You can also control your directions as well. You can control your speed, direction buttons right here, speed, spot lock. A lot of fix features. Anchor button is right there. That's your power. I'm sorry. That's your anchor button to spot lock it and make that butt that uh, trolling motor sit there in one place and make it easy for you. Because kayakers, every time I've seen them on the water and I've been on my big boat, they always have to paddle to keep their spot. They always have the fishing and they got to move, groove, do all that type of stuff. That ain't for you, boy. I, I can't do it like that. That's the only reason I was interested in this kayak. And Old Town has really knocked it out the box so far from the pre presentation. It's there, it's there. We gotta see what the owner water uh, access and uh, situation gonna be. But I gotta give me a battery, lock it down in there. Got your uh, battery box and the straps to keep it in here. You can lock it up, keep it nice and safe, pull that down. Dry storage right here water seal tight oh my goodness that's gonna keep it real tight a little water ga little gasket right here to keep that water from going in there oh you got a nice little space up on here now I don't know if you want to put too much that can move around off in there because you're gonna have to fish it out the back of that kayak when it, if it roll down there but something you can keep close and fit that that little hole up real tight you good close and lock that back up you have your um, for your battery, power cord, the connector is right here, conveniently, by the battery. You don't have to chase it around, run around, hunt that down, rewire nothing up. The whole boat is wired up for to function like it needs to. And so, we'll close that back down. I'll put my prop back in there for safekeeping right now. But lock my seat back down before I sit in it and think I'm uh, posing and cruising while I'm on land and fall out the thing before I get in water. All right, so you got plenty of space back here as well. You can stick you a whole cooler and they have these nice easy straps to where you're sitting in your seat 
you can just grab the strap, both sides, flip it over like that. One hand action right there. Nice and convenient and easy, and you can also get it apart with one hand. So, rip it like that. Have your cooler sitting up under here. My little cooler with the little flap on it fits in there real nice, and I still have a lot of space back here for storage as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see the cooler right here and see, see how mean this thing is and how the people champs sitting back at the back and see if we can roll around the lake and just uh, do what we do. See if it can become a combo kayak kit for me and the people's champ. Y'all know how we do, we, we non-stop foolery around here. And so guys, before I burn to death in the sun out here in this Texas heat, I think I went over pretty much all of it. And if I, if I haven't, there'll be an on the water video after this, uh, letting y'all see how this thing performs on the water. Have some more gear tracks back here. You can set up some rod holders, whatever you need back there. But I wanna uh, say this guys, I need two experienced kayakers, crappie head family, email me, dcrappie at gmail.com. I'll have that in the description. I need y'all to come out with me and help me review this on the water. You get to try it out and see it for yourself and get to play with it. And so we'll get, we'll get uh, insight from experienced kayakers because I've never kayaked before. I never wanted to kayak until I saw this bad boy with that power drive on there because I'm too lazy. I got a pedal. There's a paddle that's go that goes right there. You can lock it in and that's coming. Old Town's gonna send that. And uh, it has handles up here at the back for carrying two handles. Or they made notches up under the bottom for you to grab and carry that as you need to. And I'm gonna get some wheels because this thing is heavy. It's heavy. It has like 500 um, capacity weight, like 400, 420 or something usable weight. And like I said, it's just beautiful, beautiful kayak guys. So if you're into kayaking, and this is another way for you to get on the water and it'd be less expensive than getting a big bass boat. Less maintenance, all that guys. Very convenient, compact, beautiful. You look, you know, I, I, I'm big on looks. I'm big on presentation. So I think this is gonna be the hottest looking kayak on, on the water from what I've seen. And so, you know, I have a link in the description for you to go check out Old Town and see this kayak. Let them know D Crappie sent you. If you're not interested in this one, they have plenty of options for you to choose from. So Old Town has been around since 1898. 1898, that is old. So you know they got what you need. They, they, they've been working at it long enough to take care of all your needs in the kayak world. So guys, go check them out. Subscribe, please. Help me out with this, guys. I forgot to tell y'all about this in the beginning. In the YouTube world, there's these uh, awards. There's a silver button when you get 100,000 subscribers. And I want that. I want that, guys. You get a million subscribers, you get another a gold button or something or whatever. But let's focus on the 100,000. So please, if you've watched these videos and watched me for whatever time you have, please hit that subscribe button. Go tell your mama, your auntie, your auntie, your cousin, all of them to come subscribe and help your boy out. Be, do that little favor for me, guys. I really want that plaque and that silver button for this channel. And as always, we'll see y'all on the water next time. Peace! Let me get some of this cold ice water. Oh, God. Oh, that helped out. Bye, y'all.